married in good. That's the way you want to put it. Well, I don't have some way to put it. That's the way it is. to the Z show number 211 this week in 2013 that will be on 12 uh, I guess 15 if you consider Saturday the last day of the week um, um, let's check out a random cracked article here that uh caught my attention to start off with. I, I would like to do a, uh, probably like to start trying to do a full 30 minutes a week. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I uh, I got that uh, that little letter you get from YouTube that you don't want to get. And uh, anyway, long story short, you don't have the uh, privilege of uh, making longer than 15 minute videos if you have uh, infringed on your, your, your uh, perfect account status. They're written by someone named Gladstone. Five covers that improve the lyrics of famous songs. The other week I wrote a column about the worst changed lyrics in music history and I think we all learned something specifically what I think are the top five worst changed lyrics in rock history. But you know what, I thought I'd turn that frown upside down. Then I turned it upside again and stood on my head and then it was opposite day. By that time I was pretty confused so I got drunk and when I woke up I decided to do an article about the five best changed lyrics in music history. Then I tried really hard to find five examples. Johnny Cash finds Jesus in a better lyric for his cover of Nine Inch Nails Hurt. The first entry is an interesting one because I came very close to putting it on the list of the worst chains lyrics. In the, in the original Hurt by Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor sings, I wear this crown of shit. It's par for the course with Trent. After all, Hurt is a cutter's anthem for the, for the, the depressed with no self-esteem. That's what the 90s were like. Every singer was dying to tell you how much they sucked. Tom work of Radiohead was a creep. Kurt Cobain sang, I hate myself and I want to die. And Trent was wearing his crown of shit. The crown of shit becomes. I used to hate that. Okay, Johnny, I said to myself, you get it, you love Jesus. It annoyed me because Jesus 
loving had nothing to do with the self-hating masterpiece. But then I listened to the lyric in context. It went from being, I wear this crown of shit upon my liar's chair, to I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair. Liar's chair becomes more important because now we know he's lying about the crown of thorns. He's lying about being a martyr, about being holy. He's not just a piece of shit, he's a fraud. The lyric change actually ups the ante on his personal sins. Reliant K injects humor into pure cheese for its cover of Manic Monday. You might know Reliant K as some Christian power punk pop band, or you might know them at all. You might not know them at all. I sure as hell didn't, and I'm pretty sure that's okay. But at one point, this band decided to do a cover of the Bangles at Manic Monday. There are three, th <clears throat> there are three things to know about Manic Monday. It's catchy, print road, and it's a piece of fluffy, forgettable shit. To understand how Reliant K made this list, you really can't <laughs> underestimate the importance. But, third prong. See, normally a gratuitous lyric just for laughs would be offensive. Show some respect. But when you're covering a piece of pure pop fluff, you don't really have to sweat it. It's not like drawing boobs on the Mona Lisa. He tells me in his bedroom voice, come on honey, let's go make some noise, became. He tells me in his quiet, riot voice, come on, feel the noise. Yes, Reliant K is referencing another 80s hit. Is that the funniest thing ever? No. Is it amusing? Yes, a bit. Does it improve the song? I think it does. Are you tired of this question, answer, sentence, construction? I am sure. Should I stop? Of course. Will I? Not until every last one of you hates me. You already do. Okay. Uh, we'll just do one more here. Peggy Lee turns a few words and a melody into a full song with a cover of Fever. You might not know Peggy Lee, but odds are good you've heard her song Fever. It's just the pinnacle of slow jazz cool. Actually, it goes. what you just watched just then. That's Peggy Lee's Fever. Now you know. Anyway, I never knew this, but apparently it's a cover. The original Fever was written by little Willie John and went something like this. Again, exactly like that. That was something... Yeah, Peggy Lee wrote about half a new song. Additional lyrics. How many, like most of them, none of the following lyrics were in the song. Together, we passed the first across-the-board tax reduction for everyone since the Kennedy tax cuts. Next year, tax rates will be indexed, so inflation can't push people into higher brackets when they get cost of living pay. <laughs> we must bring federal deficits down. The problem down. is that government share is more than we can afford if we're to have a sound economy. We must bring down the deficits to ensure continued economic It'll be made every place. What we meant by maybe across the board was the wrong decision, although it, it describes it. What I meant was that no one is exempt from being looked at for areas in which we can uh, make cuts in, in spending. I can understand uh, that, particularly in the field of energy. They're, they're wanting to do that. But uh, 
we are uh, we're urging uh, that people think long and hard before they uh, travel to Iran because we don't think their safety can be it would be sabotage. I've met with Mr. Volker and not with the intention of trying to dictate because it is an independent agency and I respect that. Halfway around the world we are engaged in a great struggle in the skies and on the seas and sands. We know why we're there. We are Americans. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, Tonight, a new world order. I come before this house and the American people with an appeal for renewal. This is not merely a call for new government initiatives. It is a call for new initiative in government, in our communities, and from every American to prepare for the next American century. And it continues. Our discoveries in Afghanistan confirmed our worst fears and showed us the true scope of the task ahead. We have seen the depth of our enemies' hatred in videos where they laugh about the loss of innocent life. And the depth of their hatred is equaled by the madness of the destruction this they design. By accident, it has to be by design, done on purpose with complicity by the media and the powerful insiders who run the propaganda machinery of the United States. What do we really know? Missing hidden documents, original vault copy of certificate of live birth in the U.S. not released, one version hidden in Hawaii, original found in Kenya. Certificate of live birth release proven counterfeit. Obama Dunham marriage license not released. So words of Dunham Myers license, not released. So rhetorical adoption records, not released. Francis of a city application, released. Panahao school records, not released. Selective service registration, released, proven counterfeit. Occidental records, released, not released. Utility of oil markets. Every time the world oil market goes up, you're getting stuck at the pump. It's the cost we feel in shifting weather patterns that are already causing record-breaking droughts, unprecedented wildfires, more intense storms. It's a cost we've known ever since the gas shortages of the 1970s. But the bulk of our efforts must focus on unleashing a new clean energy economy that will begin to reduce our dependence on foreign oil, will cut our carbon pollution by a about 80% by 2050, and create millions of new jobs right here in America. Today, America produces less than 3% of our electricity through renewable sources like wind and solar. Less than 3%. Now, in comparison, Denmark produces almost 20% of their electricity through wind power. We pioneered solar technology, but we've fallen behind countries like Germany and Japan in generating even though we've got more sun than either country. I don't accept this is the way it has to be. When it comes to renewable energy, I don't think we should be followers. I think it's time for us to lead. And we are now poised to do exactly that. According to some estimates, last year, 40% of all new generating capacity in our country came from wind. Now, it's estimated that if we fully pursue our potential for wind energy on land and offshore, wind can generate as much as 20% of our electricity by 2030 and create a quarter million jobs in the process, 250,000 jobs in the process, jobs that pay well and provide good benefits. I... I need to ask you a favor.